Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel where I basically try to combine a number of subjects that range from wellness to conservation. And in my experience, which is extremely limited, especially compared to my mentors, many of who are watching this video, in my limited experience, I have found that wellness and conservation are absolutely joined at the hip because if we are not well, we make no effort to conserve. And by that, what I mean is we don't really look to the well being of the whole system. We might be conserving in that we're with withholding our spending on certain attributes that we find uh, questionable. Um, just for an example, like the very shirt that I'm wearing. The shirt that I'm wearing shows a bear in sunglasses and the sunglasses are rainbow colored. Now today on the media channels, there are quite a number of stories that have to do with these attributes, rainbows, colors, where something like this could be interpreted a certain way. Like for an example, if you see a bear wearing rainbow colored sunglasses, our meanings in this nation where I live have a duality. Because if you really look back to what our native ancestry taught with regard to the bear, it was a source, it was a symbol of power, of perseverance, of transformation, of all sorts of things that are admirable and respectable. And for some reason, we've also in this nation taking, taken to deeming the term bear as something that can be associated, especially when infused with a shot of color, uh, can be associated with a demographic that might make some of our fathers uncomfortable. Just to tell you a story, and I'm going to tell you a quick story before I start playing a song here. In my past, I remember early on when the very topic of homosexuality came out on the news as such a topic that it began to encompass the news. You know, it, homosexuality was tied to certain ailments. It was tied to a certain type of, of, of persona. And it was tied to a lot of different things. But one of the things in my childlike mind that I noticed that it was tied to is that there were bumper stickers that were showing same-sex union by using the symbols of male and male and female and female. At that time, I remember thinking as, as a child, what if there was a, uh, a heterosexual version of that bumper sticker where it was just as equally non-offensive in terms of visuals um, as the version that was being sold for people who were expressing them, themselves in another manner, in a, in a, well, basically, proclaiming what it is that they enjoyed or what they aligned with, I should say. And everything I'm saying can sound controversial. You can take it however you want. But right now what I'm talking about is simple colors and symbolism and imagery. And as a child, when I talked to my father, I remember telling him, what if we made a bumper sticker that showed heterosexual union, you know, and pride for that. And my dad got very angry and when he got angry, he got so angry that later on he began to question my orientation. I, being a child at that time, had a concept of what interested me and what didn't interest me, but the hostility that my father presented to me when he questioned whatever he thought his son was thinking uh, was unnatural. And it was so unnatural that it just kind of further drove a, a wedge between the relationship that I would have had with my father had he not been so 
extremely repulsed by the very thought of what the merit of symbolism would cause among his own children. I say children because then I know of, I'm the only child to my father and my mother, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that I'm the only child to my father. So with all of this in mind and with another holiday having gone by where I didn't get the opportunity to spend any time with my fathers, uh, I want to tell a story. This one is called Dessert, and I hope you enjoy it. In my upcoming set list, I'm sharing this song first. We're serving dessert first, and we're basically just kind of introducing a few thoughts, a few elements, if you will, into the questions that many of us might have for whatever reason.
So once again, that song was called Dessert. We're starting it out with some really important topics, uh, I think, especially in, in relation to how our egos perceive certain things. And we're doing so actually because of this guitar pick that I have here that you saw at the beginning of this segment. This guitar pick, what I'm going to do just like before, is I'm going to offer this specific guitar pick for sale on my site where I sell certain accessories and, and items that have to do with music. And that link will be in the description. If you want to check it out, I would appreciate it. More than that, if you're interested in this topic and, uh, and sharing some kind of a, I don't know, a new tune, that would help us to communicate more effectively what it is that we feel we've been exposed to when we start talking with our fathers uh, or even about our, our fathers. Um, unfortunately, some of our fathers will not speak in return with us uh, for whatever reasons at this current time, uh, such as my own. But if there are some fathers out there who are too angry to discuss the feelings that they have evoked from the children that they are tasked with being the stewards of, uh, maybe you might want to share this video and say, hey, you know, I saw this video, it resonated with me, it made sense, it brought up a question that I've been trying to ask you, but for some reason we haven't been able to discuss properly. Or it made me feel happy on the inside that somebody was able to recognize uh, something that maybe wasn't even in their own scope of things that they needed to think about. That same atrocity is the same way we can look at how we treat people of any different of any difference whatsoever from ourselves. Every time we don't appreciate the unique colors that comprise who it is that another person is, we pretty much turn our back on God. And those are the types of thoughts that I have. And those are the types of thoughts that I try to infuse into the music that I'm playing here. And that's why I have these colorful picks and this shirt with a burst of color. And that's why I have the opportunity to bring a guitar that has such a compelling image on it with so many colors and so much to the story to be told. That's why I'm able to use this to channel that directly into what it is that we are talking about here today. So... There are going to be several iterations of this particular uh, video that are shared, I'm sure of it. And uh, in the meantime, the main thing that I wanted to say at this point in time is that I'm not trying to offend anybody with the things that I'm saying. Um, and I absolutely feel like these methods of communication should be effective if only I could share the songs with their original originally intended audience, but in some cases, some something like that cannot be realized until other people have vetted the material and have understood what it is that we're talking about and have helped that voice to be carried back to where it is that it needed to be carried to. So that brings me to my next set of thoughts, which are that sometimes when we do talk with one another, we seem to overlook what it is that we're saying between one another. So on that note, 
This song that I want to play for you is called Anyway. And I hope you like it.
And whether I was born here or not, I still need to put in some kind of contribution into my society that is constructive and not destructive. And for this reason, what I've done is try to bring a multitude of songs to the table with a variety of instruments to present these stories with. My main concern has nothing to do with the borders or the nations. It has to do with the basic conversation that I have not been able to manifest among some of the people who I thought I would be able to talk with most easily, like my parents. To be able to talk with my parents is a gift. Every time that I've had the opportunity to speak with my parents, it's been a gift. And for whatever reason, when I try to tell people how I feel, in some echelons up the chain of that parental, uh, I guess the, the lineage, I've run into situations where whoever I'm talking with, whether they're a true parent or a, a bridge of a spinoff of a parent, um, it, it, I've experienced situations where even telling somebody, hey, I don't know how close this story is compared to the other story is, but we probably should think about that before we decide to make a run into that direction if we're gonna get frozen products and trek that stuff all the way back to where we are residing at the moment. I've told people these thoughts and for some reason, when someone has in their mind a plan, uh, they, they move along just like they had planned. They don't hear anything that anyone else says. They have a, a hostility that basically is built around protecting their ego, which apparently says that they have to be right 100% of the time. Now, just because somebody has a level of wisdom that has been accrued over the course of years, just because somebody has a level of wealth monetarily that has been accrued over the level of years, doesn't mean that they won't go and gamble it away every year without once investing in the conversations they could have with the true wealth of their abundance, which was the blessing of children, their lineage. Now, I, I'm not a, a parent, so I know that what I'm saying is not quite relevant to some of our audience here, uh, but at the same time, I hope that you've understood and appreciated this presentation. Again, I'm going to use this pick for a series of songs that I'm showcasing right now, and after this, I will be listing this pick for for sale on my, on my site where I'm talking about these concepts, where we're trying to monetize being able to talk about these ideas at a, at a magnitude that maybe our fathers could respect as something that was a marketable conversation. So often I've been told that these conversations don't matter, there's no money in it, you cannot be supported in the industry if you think a certain way. And so many times I've seen that the more I remove myself from caring what the industry thinks, the more creative I am and the more I'm able to produce those things and those, those concepts in reality around us and myself that are, if we can tend to ourselves, we can tend to what is around us. So whatever happens to be in my sphere, I do absolutely care about it and I wish it the well-being that I would wish myself because that's basically a camaraderie. Camaraderie has nothing to do with who picked what color to wear, with what has been taught to us in terms of what we should do generationally. Camaraderie has to do with, hey, can I recognize the person I'm talking with and what their goals are? And can I help them along? Because as it is, we're playing on a sandlot together and we're trying to build something together that is beneficial to all of us. And for that purpose, again, I hope that you've listened to this entire clip this particular segment, I'm going to cut it short right here, and um, I'm still going to use this pick for the rest of the songs that are played today. There'll be a link in where, wherever it happens to be. I'm not going to talk about it that much more. This is the only clip that I'm going to talk about what becomes of this pick, but at the same time, for that reason, I've got to present it to you just like as if I had presented it to you in the past where I said, here, catch.